Redditors with those who talk in their sleep, what is the creepiest thing they've said? My girlfriend sat up in the middle of the night started scratching her head and saying there's needles coming out. That's a hair. She said don't leave me for three dollars. I need about three fiddy. My boyfriend once cut my crotch in his sleep and said, two out of five stars. Damn, I'm sorry about the low rating. I come in to go to bed, lay down and I'm about to turn the bedside lamp off. Cue him turning over, eyes still shut, obviously still asleep, don't turn the light off. I'm confused now, why? They need to see. Now I'm freaking the fuck out wondering who is in our bedroom, that I haven't noticed, who needs to see. The bugs. Why do the bugs need to see? To read, this happened months ago, and I still, haven't let it go. I mean it makes sense, you don't want to be responsible for undereducated bugs in your house do you? If the bugs don't learn to read they won't find jobs, then they'll never move out. He did that sit straight up in bed thing, that I thought only happened in movies and shouted they're coming for my skin, chuckled then fell back asleep. My mother loves to still bring this story up. Happened back during my 8th grade year of school. One morning she walked in to see if I was awake. So she asked are you awake? To which I apparently said fuck. I don't know, is it meteors or while dead asleep? I apparently shouted for my mum at the middle of the night. And when she came running apparently all I said was those pineapples. Those fucking pineapples I don't normally swear either. So I have no idea why I suddenly got passionate about a fruit. Not so but a roommate, woke up the whole house shouting where is the head, where is the head, so no head, woke up to go to the bathroom one night, as I moved to get up my boyfriend goes, don't go out there, thinking he's awake, and joking with me, I go oh yeah, why, he sits upright eyes wide open, and goes she's out there, and flopped back down asleep, I held it for the rest of the night, lol I'd have done the same thing, Initially he just mumbled something I couldn't understand. I turned around to face him, and asked him what he had said. He responded in his sleep don't worry about it, and then laughed in this villainous way, that I've never heard him use while awake. It honestly creeped me out. Divorce. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> so, shhh be quiet, she'll hear us. I ask who. So response. The woman who lives here. Shhhhh she's in the hallway. Fuck that. I talk in my sleep, and my girlfriend told me this story, after we woke up, I had evidently, turned toward her, shook her with my face, and yelled they took my goddamn arms Johnny, before slumping back over, and going back to sleep. Shook her, with your face, what? Well, what else are you gonna do, when they took your arms? I was told by my, so that I said, give her a lobotomy, right through the temple, I hope your so is not a neurosurgeon, because I'm pretty sure through the temple is the scenic route to a lobotomy. Put it away. Now, this was only our fourth night sleeping togler, and I didn't even have anything out. Sure you weren't trying to rub one out? I'm not sure what's more terrifying than your so sitting upright, and saying they're here, only to collapse back into their deep slumber. Apparently your 21 year old daughter knocking on your adjoining wall whispering mum I I I I I there bark. I was the 21 year old and my mum threw an absolute fit at me and made me sleep in another room for a week. My fiance is super active while sleeping. It used to bother me, but now I'm used to it. One time I asked her to give me her pillow while she was sleeping and she said, okay, and then pulled it out from under her head and threw it at me. She slept the rest of the night without a pillow and was quite pissed when she woke without a pillow and after I told her what she did. My so frequently moves around the pillow and the covers when she's asleep, often resulting in her not having a pillow and not letting me put one under her. The first time she did it, she called me a snake for stealing the pillows. I'm still not sure if she fully believes that it's not me. Apparently I'm the opposite, according to my so, while dead asleep, I reached over, yanked the pillow out from under her head, threw it off the bed, and continued snoring contentedly, unrelated, but on another night. I apparently rolled over, put my face right near hers, and, as she describes it, scream snored right into her face, for an hour. 
I talk in my sleep regularly, one instance comes to mind. My sis said she was going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. On her way back, I said it's following you, and went back to sleep. I think this is the scariest I've read on here. Imagine sleepily going back to bed, while you hear it's following you. I would not sleep again that night. I would not enjoy, having a bathroom follow me back to bed. I'm the sleep talker, but the best I've ever been told about was, no, none of them have heads. Kill the writers up, my brother once woke me up screaming a number in his sleep, none of us could understand the significance of this number utility run of Mythbusters came on, it was the length of track from, when they raced toy cars vs real cars. The numbers Mason, what do they mean? REZNOV isn't real. Not my so, but my roommate said this in his sleep at 4am, are you texting demons? Oddly high pitched laugh, your friends with demons. High pitched laugh, is the moment I world started praying mayo. My GF fell out with me, while she was sleeping one night. She asked me to pass the light up picture frame, and when I asked her what she was talking about she shouted fine, I'll get it myself, and actually started walking about the room looking for something. It's not really creepy, but I don't get a chance, to tell the story often. Did she ever find the light up picture frame? If not you should buy one for her as a gift. She did not. It's actually her birthday at the end of January. Might add on a wee joke gift. Thanks for the idea. She started shaking me, and yelling that the financial reports don't match. She's an accountant. Oh I feel this is a fellow accountant. My girlfriend will do this every so often. But this one time she was having a really bad nightmare and she just straight up screamed at the top of her lungs right into my face. I woke up with an adrenaline rush that is still my closest guess for what cocaine feels like. I woke her up by stroking her hair, and whispering to her that it would be okay, and she thanked me the next morning. Sorry that must have been terrifying in the moment, but I can't stop laughing trying to visualize this scenario hahaha. <laughs> Not my so bud still kinda funny, but very scary at the time. So little me had a nightmare, and went to my parents room to tell my mom, and get a cuddle, so I could go back to sleep. I knocked on the door, and opens it very quietly so only my mom wakes, and not my dad. Since mom is a very light sleeper and dad a heavy one, I get in, and at that moment dad jumps out of bed and shouts I do not want to see you here again. I fled up the stairs, and cried and mom followed me, and told me she didn't know what happened either. Dad says he doesn't remember it, but I sure do. Father with little kids here. 3 a.m. Kids kick me in the face on accident. I flip them over and spank them. My wife tells me about it the next day. And I feel bad. I'm sure your dad felt bad too. Some people are just our deep sleepers I guess. I remember waking up to water, being splashed in my face. It turns out I was over the sink. Splashing water in my own face after just having sex with a stranger sleeping next to me. How could I cheat on my so? So I slowly turn my head to see who I just hooked up with. It was my so. After that emotional roller coaster, I'm instantly asleep again. This was hilarious. Well at least I don't have Alzheimer's. She's acting like a bitch. Of course I stole her Valium. Were you missing Valium? My girlfriend, now wife and I were sleeping in my bed in college. Due to not being able to control the temperature in my room, which was kept at a tropical 105 degrees despite it being a brutal winter. We always slept with a window open and my bedroom door cracked for circulation. I also lived on the ground floor apartment of a Brownston in Boston. In the dead middle of the night, she starts smacking me. Semicolon. GF. Babe. Babe. I startle awake. What? GF. Whispers there's someone standing in the doorway. Backslash muffled whimpers backslash. Adrenaline starts pumping. I prepare to fight the intruder. I quickly scan the room for something to make an impromptu weapon out of. Finally my eyes adjust to the dark. I'm fully awake, and I see, that no one is actually there. Me, no there isn't. You're sleeping. GF. Backslash muffled laughing backslash. She had zero recollection of the entire incident the next morning. I had to recount to her how she almost made me crap my pants in the middle of the night. Oh they were there alright. Hums X-Files theme. Not so but my son came into my room, while I was napping and I said, we need to decapitate them, and take them back to the lab. My fian K is Chinese, and didn't have the best upbringing there. It is common for her to yell in a distressed tone in her sleep random Chinese phrases, 
Absolutely terrifying the first few times experiencing it. Now I just kind of cuddle with her a little bit harder when it happens. This happens with my GF. Except she yells out in Spanish. Which is kind of odd considering Spanish is a second language for her. My girlfriend goes into Spanish when she's angry. Even though it's her technically second language, she learned it as a kid. But English is a strong native language. It's probably depends on mood for people to slip into another language automatically like that. It's more fun to curse in Spanish. Wild women everywhere. My girlfriend. I'll have what she's having. Sleep. Hell yeah my dude. My wife doesn't talk in her sleep. But I did wake up once to her sitting up. Leaning over me. And staring at me paranormal activity style. It was terrifying. And she has no recollection of it. Jesus fucking Christ. That would scare the fucking shit out of me. A compilation. All of these start with her shaking me awake. Her. S-H-H-H-H. There on the roof. Me. Who. Her. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. Her. Where is he going to sleep? Me. Who. Her. The man whose ear points. Me. What? Her. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. Her. I see it over there by the stairs. Me. Silently shitting self. Her. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z. Her. Do you see her? Me. Sai who? Her. The lady in the corner. Me. There's nobody there. Her. Her eyes. Me. There's nobody there. Her. I hope she goes away Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. Me. Doesn't sleep. She never remembers saying this stuff. Silently shits self and fao. When you're terrified. But polite. <laughs>